Goldcrest Valley Greetings to episode number 35 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's getting late in the day uh, and I'm back down at Field 24. I have off screen cultivated and I'm now going to seed again. I'm not going to put corn back in this one because I've got a fair bit of corn at the moment um, ready for the pigs if I need it. I didn't take it up to the pigs actually, I put it into the silo. So I'm going to put uh, let's make sure I do the right one actually. Uh, I'll put soybean, soybean, not soya bean, soybean into this. That's the most profitable one. I, re I, I totally get it. When I dump all the soybean that I've got, when I sell it, the price is going to plummet. But it will bounce back and it's still the most profitable one. So I'm going to stick soybean in. So that's off and running. The late night sewing. I do like the lights on this Challenger. Amazing. I like the uh, Orcs beam, the LED lights there. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, next thing I'm going to do. Uh, I have been doing a bit of contracting off screen as well. I did say I was going to be doing that to get some money because I wanted to buy more fields or another field. In doing the contracting, When this loads, there we go. Field 11 here, I did a contracting job. It was, uh, I think it was sunflowers, regardless, doesn't matter what it was, sunflowers, I think. And then slurry injected. When I came back to the next job, unfortunately, it's plowing, which ugh, I hate. Uh, but it's 2.2 hectares. It was going for 160 something. It came down to 149,000 for 2.2. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy it. So I now own field 11 as well. So looking at the map, we own field 11, which actually isn't a bad size. I quite like that, but I have got a plan for it. Something I haven't done yet on Goldcrest Valley or on FS17, which I did on FS15 quite a bit. I'm not going to say what it is yet. I'm going to have a go uh, and we'll see how it pans out. I will film doing something. If it doesn't work, you won't see it. <laughs> if it does work, I'll be very happy. Um, but we will see. That's kind of the next job. So this is going nicely down 24. These are all growing back where I was before. Field 7 I bought the other day. That's going too, which is all good. I've got all my logging equipment all happening here. Doing wood chips still, but I might need to move some of that. There are still quite a few contracting jobs doing for harvesting, and there will be some that are going to be ready pretty soon here, 29 and stuff. So, yeah, lots to be getting on with. Um, but it is getting late in the day, half past seven. Not quite sure how much I'll get done, but we'll see. Probably need to plough this, then cultivate it, etc. So I'll be getting the plough out first, I would imagine. These are the bits that might not get shown. It all depends. Unless you can probably tell I've got another cold. I don't know how I manage it, but I've got another one. Quite boned up, but never mind. Um, huh. I'm over at field 11. And I've got the uh, T7 ploughing. I'm clearing the trees to this side of it. Um just in this kind of corner bit. I'm wood chipping them. I could have logged them and just stuck them on a trailer, but I'm wood chipping them. I seem to be quite enjoying doing that. Probably very therapeutic. Right, swing this round. Little birds out here. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Let's get this in there. I'm not hitting the actual.
that's the first step. That's what I'm doing at the moment. We'll see how uh, how it goes. So there's no reason why this bit wouldn't be in the video, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm just cutting trees down and wood chipping. There's no problem with that at all. It's the bit that comes next. That, well, I guess a little bit. Mm, not sure. I think it's what they call Virgin Territory. It is certainly on uh, FS17, but not 15. So I shall carry on doing this for a little bit, just clearing these trees. I've already dumped, sorry, dumped, dumped it. I've already sold um, one trailer for the wood chips because my money obviously was only on about 24,000. So I've got rid of one load. And I'm probably going to end up, I think, when I've cleared enough of these, probably with another full load, I would imagine. But there you go. So I shall carry on. We'll see you in a moment. Time to grind all the stumps out. That's uh, the kind of the next job. Trees are all gone. Field 11 has been ploughed. Now I'm just grinding out stumps. So that's the next part. So it is nearly quarter past six. Just gone ten past six in the morning. I have got the next growth stage on all the fields and I've been out fertilising. However, this field, field number. 15 is the one I put the cover crop in the oil seed radish which I've never done before and as far as I understand it and I could be wrong so we're just about to find out uh, you're supposed to cultivate it in on the first growth stage which is now so as, you know, that said the caterpillar would uh, the caterpillar the challenger would be absolutely crucifying it so we'll just look on the map now fertilized state is on the first blue stage so now, technically, when I drive over this and cultivate it in, it should go to the second blue stage, which is the slightly darker one, like these. Then it will need seeding. It's a kind of, that's a weird way of doing it, but we'll see. So let's lower the cultivator and give it a go. So we'll cultivate this in and see what kind of difference it makes. If it makes any difference at all. It should do, otherwise it would have been a colossal waste of time. And it's one of those weird, it's a strange thing, isn't it? You're putting a crop into the ground that you're going to cultivate in to give you better fertilisation on the next crop. So you've kind of, you've paid to seed it and put that in, then you'll seed it again. I suppose in real life, it comes down to whether or not the oilseed radish to seed it is cheaper than fertilizer if it's cheaper than fertilizer then I suppose yeah it makes sense you would do that wouldn't you rather than fertilizing I don't know all musings let's have a look on the map and see what's occurring shall we it is changing to the darker state so there we go cultivating that in gives us the next fertilization state 
than I would imagine. Now, next time when I actually seed it, because it fertilizes when it seeds, it should put it on its final fertilizing state with the seeding. So I won't then need to fertilize it again. Okay. So I suppose it does. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's swings around about. It's just what you, you want to do yourself, I guess. But it is working. There we go. So cover crop, old seed radish. First time I've done it on Goldcrest Valley. And it has worked. Thought I'd give it a go. Why not? I'm still waiting on that field of poplars, field 21. Oh, it's taking forever. That again, I've never done poplars before, so I thought I'd do that, but it is taking forever. And this challenger is working out to be a huge asset on the farm. It will pull anything. And it's. I think having the extra tractor as well means you can do multiple jobs if you set a worker, if you don't mind setting a worker off. Some people prefer to do it all themselves. Um, but it does mean you can set the worker off doing something and get on with something else. So, there we go. Uh, cover crop. Done. Uh, it's working. That's what it's supposed to do. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. This is what I've been intending doing. Not sure if it's going to work or not. Allow crate fields. <coughs> lower plough. I'm going to increase the size of the field. That's the kind of plan. I'm going to take it, hopefully, straight across here. It's a diagonal and meet up with the corner over here just to increase the field size. That is the plan. Might be slightly out if I'm lucky. Well, not lucky. I planned this. This is how it should be. I should get right to the corner here like so. Lift the plough. So, what I've done now then, is inf increase the field size. Left myself a bit of a runoff on the right hand side. Um, now I don't know, because I've created a new field, whether or not, turn the plow, uh, don't know whether or not, how the workers are gonna react if you put a helper on it, whether it will just register that it's a new field and it's a new edge and it will go from there, or whether it will have a bit of a fit and not be quite sure. I honestly don't know, but, new field, larger field I just thought it made, it made more sense the space was here and it was a kind of it was an, not an odd shape but if I had the room to make a field bigger why not? Uh, like I say, haven't done it before on FS17 didn't know if it would work, it was worth a punt I thought I'd have a go um, lift that up and turn the plow um, and make this field a bit bigger, why not? I think it was 2.2 hectares before so it'll be even bigger now um, and it was worth a try. I did it quite a lot on FS15, but hadn't done on this. So there we go. First time of creating a new field. Not creating a new field, expanding on a, a field. Um, so then the next job for this is going to be uh, cultivating, seeding, etc, etc. And this, I think, is going to be by far my largest field as it stands. Now, I don't know if because on 15 it would never do it whether you can allow a worker to create field mm, I don't know we'll see hang on let me just check that out shall we so if I hire a worker will it plow this in no has to be done by you oh, okay uh, that's weird allow create fields hire a worker no okay that's fair enough it has to be you that does it so allow create fields lower plow and I shall carry on. So I say, I'm assuming that once this is done and the field has been created, when you set a worker to cultivate seed, all that kind of stuff, it will recognise the new field, I hope. At the end of the day, if it doesn't, it just will be one of those fields I'll have to do myself. It won't be the end of the world. But there you go. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So, by the time you... So by the time you come back, you're not going anywhere. By the time I come back, um, I probably will be finished with this and then getting ready to cultivate it, I would imagine. But it is working. I have got a bigger field. So what I wanted to do, so all the work clearing all the trees off to the left there was well worth it. Utilize, utilizing, utilizing the space I have um, around me. Plus I've got the wood chips as well. 
so made a bit of money there everything is going well So there we are, new field created, or new part of the field created, ready for cultivating, ready for seeding. I'm going to take the plough and the stump grinder back over to the farm. Next phase on field 11 is complete. I have just got back from the store where I had to uh, refill the fertilizer spreader. I know I'm not on field 11. A couple of jobs I need to do, and I'll be back over on field 11 to do the cultivating, as I said I was going to do. Um, <coughs> I've got this field 9 is on its next growth stage, so it needs another squirt of fertilizer. Um, and I've got field 15 at the home farm, which needs seeding. And I've got the seeder ready to go on that as well. So I'm just going to um, set this off on its last one. So this should be its last little bit of spray, hopefully. Um, and it's on its final growth stage, so the corn will be ready on this relatively soon. Uh, and 15, I'm going to put um, sunflowers in, I think, I, I decided I was going to do. On field 15, stick some sunflowers in. So I'll do both of those, and then I'll get back over to 15, uh, 15, 11, and get 11 cultivated. It's all go. The money's gone up in the corner, as you can tell. 107,657 now, as I've got a worker on. Actually, why have I got a worker on? I'm watching myself, watching a worker doing it when I could be doing it. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I did some work on field 28, did a harvest, and did some slurry spreading. The harvest itself came in at about 42,000. I got 22 for the job and 20 for the time bonus, so not too bad at all. And then about 9,000, I think it worked out for the slurry spreading. So, uh, keep on doing them in between other jobs here and there. Keeps that money up. Um, if you've watched any of my episodes before, you'll know that I have a, kind of, I have a plan. I have an idea. I am saving up again for the next thing I want to do. Or the next thing I want to buy, to be fair. I bought a couple of fields recently, so next will be another piece of machinery, which I'm saving up for. But I need to get all these bits and bobs done first. I've just come over in the C7, finished the fertilising on field 9, that's good to go. I've grabbed the cultivator to take over to 11, but I have got the challenger waiting to seed on 15, and I said I was going to put sunflowers in. Now, because I did the cover crop, hopefully when this seeds now, 
it should put it at its final fertilization state although it's the first bit of seed going in so that's the plan So sunflowers are going in and hopefully if I'm not wrong then I'll just have a quick look I should be on the final have a look yeah that has gone dark hasn't it dark strip there which means that's the final fertilization state although it's actually the seed just going in so uh yeah, that's okay let him cover cover on cover crop i was saying carry on uh and i will take the t7 over to field 11 to see if a worker will cultivate where i've done the new field that's what I'm hoping. Okay, so we're back in the T7. Get this over to field 11. Oh, must remember to slow down so it doesn't tip over. So this will be interesting. What I'm going to do is start from this end and see what it happens when it gets to the diagonal. And uh, fingers crossed, it will work. Come out of camp for this, I think. go Okay, we are fast approaching the moment of truth. Will it register the old field boundary or will it take on board the new one? It takes on board the new one. I like... The, oh, I don't like the fact it's now driving over the railway track with the cultivator. Good grief. Okay, hopefully it won't do that the next couple. But it is registering, recognising the new field... No, it was. Oh, that's going to leave some bits, isn't it? Oh, that's weird. <coughs> okay, so there are going to be a couple of bits by the look of it. Though I'm probably going to do a strip myself, I think, diagonally along the edge. But that's not the end of the world. It is cultivating, which is what I needed to do now before I can seed it. I didn't realise actually how undulating this one was. It's got quite a dip in the middle there. Okay. And as you can see by the map, field 15, the Challenger is putting in the last little bit. So everything is moving along. I do... Oh, see, I'm saving up. I want to get another vehicle. Don't want to let it slip what it is, but um, I also want to get some more cows. But 10 cows is 50,000. That's a lot of money. 
I've got some crops to sell, so I'm keeping an eye on the prices at the various different places. So I've got some stuff to sell. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go with that. So the last step for field 17 then is seeding. Uh, no surprise, I'm going to put soybean in. Um, I've still got canola actually to harvest over on field 17, I must do that. Um, I've got some sunflowers in, um, some corn in, soybean, a few different crops. So uh, I'm going to stick soybean in here as well. Just make sure I'm on soybean, barley, canola, soybean. And off we go. Let's get soybean in here. Okay. Uh, next jobs, I'm trying to think uh, what will come next. Probably a little bit more contracting. I'm trying to raise that money. Keep an eye on the prices for various different things because I've got some in storage that needs selling. But that is it for today's episode. Field 11 has had a bit of a going over from start to finish. We've created a whole new section on the field. We have ploughed, we have cultivated, we are seeding. We've cleared trees. Uh, we've done a bit of fertilising in other fields as well here and there. Um, so it's been a relatively busy episode actually. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. Uh, the more, the merrier. If you want to share the video, be my guest. Uh, share it with whoever you would like to. Um, if you want to leave a comment, feel free. Um, I will always take on board criticisms. Uh, I will take on board compliments. <laughs> Whatever you want to leave. I'm on Facebook as well, under Mr. Silly P, where screenshots and links to my videos appear regularly. So from field 11, which is being cultivated and seeded at the same time now, the T7 and the Challenger field python. Thanks for watching.